Alrighty, everyone. So, continuing on with our exploration of Guardia Castle. Is it Guardia Castle? I remember. Uh, I swear that there were some of these chests to open in various places if we investigate around. So, what I want to do is kind of run around the castle and look and see what we can find. Maybe we can find more chests. And if not, if it's not in 600 AD, maybe we'll find them in 1000 AD, right? Various different places. Well, let's look around. Oh, the cook's gone? The ma master's experimenting with a great new dish. Really, where is he? A great dish deserves a great name. Where, Where is the chef? The chef is experimenting on a great dish, but where is he? He's not here anymore. Maybe we gotta go find him somewhere. Oh, listen. The commander of the master kitchen's made peace. They blush to admit it, though. So where are they? Maybe they're, they're, they're on the bridge, perhaps? Well, let's go talk to the king who they said wants to speak to me. Oh, look! Here they are! Our victory is owed to you. Frog, I've been considering. No, there's no need for consideration. I would have you take my place as commander should you be willing to accept the honor. I'm afraid I must decline. I'm not suited to such a post. Our victory is owed to you. And he just says, I decline. You served us victory, but I cooked the meal. And speaking of cooking, I have a mind to prepare a victory feast. Something truly spectacular to celebrate the Fiend Lord's defeat. I'll see that generations come to know the name of Chrono. You're alive! We sustained heavy casualties, but thanks to you, our battles won. Now we must work together to rebuild. If there's ever any way the kingdom might repay you, I shall see it done. Frog, I offer my thanks to you again. The value of your deeds is worthy of the name of Knight. Your Majesty, please do not waste such words of honor on me. Frog, so you aided Chrono and the others. You've done a fine service for the kingdom. Please remain here as long as you wish. We would be honored by your presence. Your kind words are reward enough, Your Majesty. My heart is glad to hear them. If they had broken through at Xenon Bridge, the castle would be no more than rubble. So let's look around for treasures, right? This was the room where Marl disappeared at the beginning of the game. But there's nothing new here. Alright, maybe check the other sides. Maybe we do have to go back to 1000 AD. Maybe that's where this chest is. I wonder if we can do something at 1000 AD. Now the game's advanced. Remember, we were a fugitive there. They were going to try to execute me for no good reason. Yeah. Ah! Here we go. Let's do it. What do we get? Red vest. Really? Can she equip a vest? N yes! Instead of the luminous robe... The red vest absorbs 50% of fire damage. So we're going to be absorbing light, fire, and, and uh, shadow. That's pretty cool. Let's give Marl the luminous robe then. Very nice. Ah, oh, Mr. Robe. Super good for her. All right, excellent. We're riding all these vests. If only we could have a vest tonight in real life. Alas. It is not to be. I'm still happy here to chill with all of you. It's not about... It's not about the money. It's about the class. Trust me, if I was looking out for money, I wouldn't be playing Chrono Trigger right now. <laughs> I'd be doing something else, right? Well, Chrono Trigger is awesome. I had to play it for my 15-year anniversary, so... Okay. So I think we've opened a bunch of chests. I'm just going to check that little area to the right those houses to see if there's anything in those before we get out of here and go I'm gonna go to 1000 AD as well and I'm pretty sure that there's some chests in 1000 AD too nothing there oh the lean bell's gone the hero delivered us peace and I delivered the king his bell all is well again hurrah for Guardia toast to the kingdom cool so basically Guardia is seeing their resolution now This is where we originally came from, Choose Canyon. All right. Let's go back to the epoch. Is it epoch? Is that how you say it? Go back to the epoch and, uh... This guy's still here. When Magus left, his troops deserted. 
<laughs> More than that sound. Alright. So we're pretty much done. Let's get to the epoch and uh, and then we'll go back to 1080 and we'll investigate all of that. What sucks is there's more areas to check out and we can't get over there. I guess we have to find a way to fly later on. Can't remember the order that stuff happens in this game. Alright, so look, we're actually in the same exact spot. 400 years later, the magic cave is gone. It's completely removed from the game. Pour in. Snail stop. Some monsters can go just with humans, like the piano player. We're talking about this woman, Fiona, who died trying to revive the great forest that once flourished to the north. It's a sad tale. Really? The great forest to the north. Maybe we should go back in time to 600 AD. He's saying there's a forest to the north. Could it be the cursed wood? Huh. I wonder. Nothing too significant here. Mayor's Manor. Anything in this room? Grahaha! I run the town. I'm so rich. I don't know what to do with it all. I'll give you ten. Give you ten G if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. No thanks. Boring. What an asshole. He's a rich asshole. Everybody says Daddy's greedy. That's not true, is it? it sure seems that way. It sure seems like an asshole, right? Would you do it? Steak sandwich says he would do it. He would spin in place and cook like a chicken. Well, you know what they say? Some people would slit their mama's throat for a nickel, right? Some people are like that. Ah, look, Xenon Bridge. They're all going to the Millennium Fair, right? Nosey Real Vibe says, honestly, this game is more chill and relaxing than any Final Fantasy games. There you go. You think, you think 6 and 9 are on par with Chrono Trigger? It's Fritz again. Remember Fritz? Nothing new that we need. Mayor's Manor here? The Mayor's Manor here is just a tutorial. And I don't think it has one of the chests. No, it doesn't. Okay. Tutorial of the game. Choose and resident is my house. No, it's not. There once was a Greek cathedral in the western woods or so I hear. I wonder what became of it. Oh. Can we check that out? The man's never too old to collect silver points. Where's Kronos' house? Here it is. Talk to your mom. Dear me! Chrono, how many times have I told you to keep your pets outside? But, my lady, I am no pet. I am an accomplished swordsman, green as I may appear. Oh, forgive me, sir. I just thought I mean, uh, I mean no offense, sir, knight, truly. My name is... Yes? On second thought, uh, a sir knight will suffice. Wow. What about Ayla? Oh, yeah. Gracious, who are you? Me, Ayla. Ayla, dear, a young lady shouldn't dress like that. But Ayla like. No buts, the proper response is yes, ma'am. Chrono strong, Chrono mom strong too. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. I love that music, the doll there. Nice musics. All right, the kitty follows you when you're there. I don't think that there's anything new at the Millennium Fair. I think it stays the same for the majority of the game, if I remember correctly. And I don't think that there was any of those chests for us to open here. I think if there's going to be any chests, they'll be at Lean Castle. Or not Lean Castle, uh, Guardia Castle. But remember, we can't really explore Guardia Castle fully because there we're wanted fugitives. They wanted to execute Chrono at one point. So I guess the question is, could we actually go back and find out what the heck's going on with that? I wonder. Let's save, and let's see if we go to Guardia Force in the castle, and we can figure out what actually happened with that. Like, why did the... Why did the Chancellor frame us and try to have us executed, and then have us arrested? Right? Aw, oh, crap.
Okay. Over here is where we ran away from the guards when they were chasing us. Oh, look! They blocked it off! You can't go there anymore. Because there used to be a warp that would lead you to another time, and they blocked it off. Huh. No. They still won't let us go into the castle. Huh, man. So I wonder... What are we supposed to do? If I remember correctly, there is a couple side quests between 600 AD and 1000 AD. But I don't remember exactly how to do them. Hmm. Shoot. Well, I guess we're going to head back for now. Back to the epoch. Oh, we go to Luca's house, see what she's up to. Am I enjoying the game? I love the game. Of course I'm enjoying the game. What's that? There's a whirlpool over there. What the heck? Look. Oh, perfect timing. Obtain Taben's suit. A great another great adventure completed for my daughter. Oh. Taben's... Whoa, it's great. Defense of 79, speed plus 3, halves fire damage. It's outstanding. It's ridiculously good. So I guess at different points of the game, you go back here, he'll give you a reward, right? All right, we got a great suit for Luca. Luga and Taven are always off tinkering on their latest invention. That's just the mother. She's always just sitting there, right? Nothing really develops. Huh. Okay. Alright, nothing else to do here. But great to get a Taven suit for free. It's so weird. Look, there's something there but you can't do anything with it. Oh, wait! Did this just say Coastal Vortex? Coastal Vortex! Look at this! We appeared on the other side. So now we can get to see Melchior again. A sword can be used as a tool for ending lives or as one for saving them. And he sells the same stuff. Son of a bitch. Nothing new, huh? Nothing new here. What about any chests? Any chests in this region? This is how we get back to the time. Uh, yeah, we can leave from here. Okay. All right, I'll sell. Yeah, for 60,000, you ass. Well, the good news is we actually don't even need the luminous robe anymore. The radiant plate would be great. But not for these prices, you ass. Right? We already beat the crap out of these, these monsters earlier. Elder's house. Oh, look who it is. Yeah, see, they still honor the statue of Ozzy the First in the village square. Wait, what? Did it say that earlier in the game? Did it say that there was a statue of Ozzy the First in the village square? A fearsome beast lives in the cave of the mountain to the west. Only magic can harm it. Oh, we already, we already did that. We already beat that earlier in the game. Ozzy? Why would they be worshipping a statue of Ozzy, right? It was... It was Magus who was in charge in 600 AD. Oh, great Ozzy, humph. Oh, great Ozzy, humph. Oh, great Ozzy, Ozzy the Great, yours is the hand that guides us our fate. This is weird. So, when we beat... Magus, we change the timeline. That means that basically when we beat Magus, Ozzy took over for Magus. 
Does that mean we can go back and fight Ozzy? Right? Maybe. Maybe that's what it means. But well, how would we do that? We've been here before. Oh, look! Oh, look! Light from the pendant! What is happening here? Neat. What is going on? We're about to find out something interesting. Whoa. Ah! Optional chests and a new to talk to. The seal is broken. I will give you a treasure crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is protective gear which guards your life. Think well and choose whichever you need the most. Ooh. 13,000 years was a very long time. Balthazar, I go to you now. So we have to choose. We only get one. Do we choose the the armor that's going to protect our life? Or do we choose the weapon that will increase our strength? I kind of feel like maybe the weapon... There's going to be many weapons in the game. I'm thinking maybe the armor is the best way to go about it, right? That's what I'm thinking. But I think I should save... And now let's see. Let's check out the armor. Whoa. Guardian Helm. Whoa. It's a huge increase to defense. It almost doubles the defensive rank ranking of my helmet. Reduce physical damage by a whole third. So Chrono will not take much damage at all. And definitely we want it on Chrono because Chrono is the one who has the revive spell. So that's actually huge. That is really, really good. And now we can give that to her. There you go. Nice. I'll go with that. RG Beef says, you can do you can Okay, you can basically do this quest line with Luca. I have to go to Luca's house with, with her and her party. How do you... How would I do that, though? I mean, I could do... Well... No. He says, no. He says you have to go to a different time period. But how would I go there? All right. I guess what we should do for now... Let's go back to the hub of time. Okay? So we're back. Now. We could put Luca in the party. Alright. Let's replace, for now, let's replace Ayla with Luca. Let's go with this party for now. Now Ayla sits. Look at that. Let's save. I love her theme, by the way. It's like one of the best themes in the game. It's like a victory theme. Her theme is always like a victorious theme. I love it. So. So he wants me to go back to the Magic Kingdom. So how would we do this? How would we go to this time period? Alex for a super chat. He says, hello, Philip, you are a star. Well, thank you, Alex, for the super chat. I appreciate that. If I remember correctly, there's a portal in a cabinet in 1000 AD, says RG Beef. Really? Let's go to Lucas' house. It's 
So thank you, Alex. Let's get you on the leaderboard here. Appreciate that. So. We go back to see... We go back to her house. I don't know what other cabinet you would go in. Oh, here we go. Taven's Helm. Another great invention. So we've got the Stone Helm. Taven's Helm is much better. Magic defense plus 10. Damn, she's got like the super good outfit now. Nice. Hey, Luca. I've been working on some defensive gear for my favorite daughter. Yes, we know. out here. Huh. Going to the fridge. Nope, can't go in the fridge. Oh, this is Luca and Taven. Luca's standing right here. Luca's in the party. He didn't notice. Now nah, I guess there's nothing here. So where could this, this hidden warp be, right? In a cabinet? Well, whose cabinet? This is it's definitely not here. No one even has a cabinet, right? It certainly wouldn't be at the inn, no. Oh, look what I found! Holy crap! A blue vest! Are you kidding me? I found another one. Absorbed 50% of water damage. What the heck is going on? I found so many good vests, it's ridiculous, right? Here, we'll get that one to Robo. Yeah, why not? Basically, what you need to know is what kind of damage you're gonna be facing. And then equip the proper vest for that that area, right? That only seems like what, the way to go. Well, we went to Guardian. Like, where else would there be one of those cabinets to open? I don't know. What's weird is there's nothing here. There's, like, no town or anything. But in 600 AD, there very much was a town here. But it's missing in 1000 AD. Go to the forest near, near Fiona's Shrine. So we gotta go to 600 AD, is what you're saying. Because there's nothing here right now. There's the greedy ass mayor. Okay. Alright, let's go to 600 AD. In 1000 AD, there's no Fiona Shrine in 1000 AD. What are you talking about? The Fiona Shrine is... The Fiona area is in 600, isn't it? There's no Fiona Shrine right now. Yeah. Nothing there. No, we didn't do the plot line with Robo rebuilding any forest yet. That's what I'm telling you. We have a ways to go before we can do what you're saying to do. Okay. I don't think you can do any of this yet. Perhaps we can fight Ozzy. Because Ozzy seems to have taken over. This is Fiona. Much of this force was destroyed by the war against Magus. I told endlessly to restore by replanting trees, but all the do is wither and die. So maybe if we talk to... I don't think it's... Ro I think we need to do it. There's a quest line. I think there's a quest line you have to follow to do this. If I'm remembering correctly. There's a quest... I and mean, I don't think we can do it yet. I don't think we can do the quest line yet. I think you have to find a way... To find some kind of like special soil 
And then if I remember correctly, then Robo will actually help her to, like, fix the forest, if I remember correctly. But I don't think you can do it yet. Double checking frogs, nothing here. Okay. So I think we should probably continue on with the major plot right now then. <clears throat> the major story elements. Aw, oh, crap. Why is Chrono glowing? <laughs> what is going on? What did we give Chrono that now he glows? I don't even know what, what's going on. Oh, really? RGB says, I think, later, there's special soil in the dystopian future. Can you talk to Fiona with Robo in the party? All right, so we didn't do that. We don't think we can do that yet. We were just in the dystopian future, and we went everywhere, talked to everyone, and there was no special soil. So I get the feeling that's something for later then. The helmet I put on him gives him protect, the guardian helmet. Ah, so he has auto protect for the one, that's one third physical damage reduction. That's why he glows yellow. What a great helmet. So, learned Red Needle Dual Tech. Sweet. We're going to learn some more moves. We haven't had, you know, Luca in the party for a while. So she's probably going to be learning a lot of, like, crossover attacks now. All right. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we stick with this party for now? So we can't do any of this yet, right? I'm pretty sure we can't do anything. The only thing maybe we can do is go to the Magic Cave. And, uh... Oh, look! A magic ring. Wow. Magic plus six is a good boost. Let's make her the golden stud. So we go through here. Does this get us back to the Beast Lord's castle? It should, right? But before we do... The, I said the Beast Lord because I'm an idiot. I meant to say the Fiend Lord. Let's save... Let's run through this cave quickly. Let's go back and see if maybe we can... Maybe we can see what's going on with Ozzy. Because it seems like Ozzy took over after we beat Magus. So maybe there's a quest to beat him. Because the statue of Ozzy is still present in the square. Maybe we can get past it. I think we gotta go through this cave again. We're back. No, it's empty. Huh. So they will not allow us to go back to the castle right now. Darn. All right, so that's a no-go. It's a no-go for now. Shoot. Maybe later. I'm, I'm almost positive all these are side quests for later. I'm almost positive. But it looks like we can't do any of these side quests right now. So maybe we should just go back to the... We should go back to uh, Zeal and do that quest line now and then continue on. It's good that we got all these optional items, though. We've certainly got a ton of optional items. <clears throat> okay. All right. I guess we'll do it. Let's go to Antiquity. All right. Where are we? There's one of the bridges. No, can't go up this mountain. Skyway. We didn't go this way. No, when we were here earlier, we didn't go this way. We didn't even check this out. So what is this? The Terra Cave. Nothing. Oh, hello. This is El Gedi, the village of the Earthbound. We didn't bother going here earlier. We Earthbound ones were banished from Zeal because we possessed no magical talents. That's messed up. Why don't you tune some goods? Zon Mato. Ma damage 1.5 to magical beings. It's incredibly good. Like, they literally have a ton of good items. He sells a blade better than the Masamune. What on earth? They sell radiant plate, but I kind of want to keep the vest because they absorb elements. 
They sell radiant health. He sells everything good. Oh my god. Why does he have so many good things? We absolutely should buy the Mega Blaster for Luca. It's an insane increase to her damage output. Right? And the Zan Mato. Look at that crazy damage to the increase. I'm going to get this. Alright. Now I got to equip... Same thing with her. Crazy. Now, can we sell and make more money? Hopefully. Let's see what we can sell. Two ruby guns. Oh, death claws better for Robo. We'll keep that. It's a lot to sell. Keep the mist robe for now, because it's pretty good. Okay, now. This is incredibly good for Marl. Um, this is really good for Robo. This, it's crazy. This is only... You know what? Radiant Blade, it's literally only an increase of 8. I don't think it's worth it, because we're going to get big critical hits as well with the Masabune. But I will get some of these radiant helms we got two helmets that are apparently really good right i'll buy two of those radiant plate i want to keep the vest so i'm not going to get the plate okay so we'll hold on to these for now we won't I'll, you know what i'll buy the bow for when we use her but he already has a dark you know what? I'll buy this too. Whatever. I'm just not going to buy the Radiant Blade because we have the Massive Moon in. So. Yeah, much better than the Death Claw. Okay. And then uh, the helmets, right? Yep. Okay. Wow, he had a crazy good stuff, huh? Many inhabitants of the land were taken to build the Ocean Palace. None were ever seen again. That's it? Is this a dead end? Is nothing else here? Damn. What's this? Is this where we came from? I'm confused. No, we came up from here, right? So what's over here then? Okay, maybe we... I got confused. Okay, we're going down. Confused myself. The queen has installed the mammon machine in the ocean palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos's energy, but is there not peril in such a thing? The guru of life said as much, but it only led to her in to imprison him in the mountain of woe. I fear there's little we can do. So I think we need to free this guru from the mountain of woe. The Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus possessed power within him, exceeding even that of Lady Shala. But then the Queen lost her mind, and the young Lord grew to hate that power and all of the suffering it causes Lady Shala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. What's going on, Steve, from Accounting? How are you tonight? Welcome. Guys, we're going to still play for about another roughly 30 minutes or so. But again, any contributions tonight would be greatly appreciated, even as simple as liking the stream, which actually also slowed anything tonight. Would be great, whether it be engagement, whether it be some kind of a contribution. All are welcome and appreciated. Thank you. When will Weedy Shawa come and play with us again? Yikes. The three gurus and Lady Shawa are near the only ones who do not treat us as inferior. Ah. Hmm. 
The mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't play around there. Would you like to rest? Sure, why not? Give me a free rest. Look at that. They don't even charge you. How nice. In times past, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. Good for you. <laughs> the tunnel connects to a mud beast den. Beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The guru of life's voiced opposition to the queen's plan, so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Maybe this is what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to go go to the mountain of woe and free the guru? Maybe. I guess we're gonna find out. I got a strength capsule. Oops. Give it to Frog. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, party time. Okay. Let's X strike this guy, see what happens. Attack is increased. She could use Napalm endlessly. Because she, she has the thing that completely dis, uh, reduces uh, MP use. Or TP use, I should say, right? Yeah, she reduces TP use to like 75%, so she can just keep using Napalm every turn. And it won't even like affect me. I'll be able to use it every turn, which is excellent. <clears throat> Alright. Well, these certainly were enemies of my own uh, level. Nothing over there, right? No. Go. Napalm their asses. Boom. That's great. Thank goodness we're reducing physical damage with that helmet. Darn. Nice. Cool. You finished playing Bullet Storm and you're gonna watch my playthrough later on, says Steve from Accounting. Cool. <clears throat> it's a weird game. Oh, oh boy. Elemental? You're not getting through here. It's a boss. Okay, I wasn't expecting a boss. Let's do sword stream. That was his weakness. Ouch. Oh, he's riding both of them, both bulls. That's a lot of damage. So they're weak. He's weak to... Okay, you know what? Let's do a heal. He's weak to water. One's weak... The red guy's weak to water. The other guy's weak to fire. So we have the weaknesses. You think that the little guy's weak to lightning? Let's test that. Let's see if he's weak to lightning. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, they're X striking Chrono, but he's super resistant, which is excellent. What the? Can you search until Chrono's ready? Ah, oh. come on, Chrono. You know what? Let's have him heal then. It's taking forever. Okay. Yeah, they can do cross slash to you. The two bulls can cross slash you. This is an interesting boss. You just hit me with a rock, you asshole. Alright, let's sword stream this uh, fire bull again. There we go. 
now. Ginormal damage. Oh, uh, still not dead. Well, now we gotta heal Luca. Or not, she's dead. He just decided he was gonna hit her twice in a row with absolutely no way to, to do anything about it. Isn't that nice? Got him! Nice! Let's raise Luca. Let's do a group heal. Beautiful. I'm glad I have a revive spell now. That will make it way easier. I like picking on Luca. Red Needle. New Fire Sword. Red Needle would have been better, but now Grog went to sleep. Oh my god, that did crazy good damage. Willow, have a good night. Nice! Just your turn. Let's heal. Oh, now he tried to heal? You can't heal now, jerk. Why don't we just beat the crap out of this guy now he's by himself with no uh, bulls to help him? <clears throat> no, 30 damage. Maybe magic hurts him? Let's try Red Needle. That work. It's like he auto heals. But luckily, he does no damage anymore, right? He does no damage at all because we killed the bolts. Damn, he heals a lot. He's a stupid regen on it. Oh my god! Is it every time he gets hit, or does it just naturally happen? I can't tell. I think it might be every every time he gets hit. Escaped? He ran away. He ran away. Wow. I don't think that's ever happened to me ever in the game. I don't think he's ever run away before. I don't even know that could happen. Well, I mean, we won, I guess. He did run away, right? <clears throat> oh, there's an enemy right there, look. I want that item. Back to normal combat. Ah! Got the bird. Yeah, Blue Storm was unique. You know, it had the, it had the uh, Steve Blum, I believe, was the uh, voice actor in Bullet Storm, if I remember correctly. And it was kind of unique in that regard. It was all, it was an all right game. Um, at that time, they were trying to do a lot of different FPS slash combo games like that, which is kind of weird. A lot of like crossover games that were trying to be different. Critical hit. Nice. 
to be Crimson Rain. Now, Bulletstorm was a first-person shooter, right? There was no, no third-person combat. So I certainly wouldn't say it's anything like Gears of War. Luga levels up. Platinum Helm. Immediately better than the helmets I just bought everybody. Of course, right? Because I just spent money. The game's immediately going to hand me an item that's better than what I spent money on. Of course it is. It always happens in these games, man. All right. It was an FPS, but the Gears team made it? Oh, I didn't even know it had anything to do with the Gears team. wedding ballerina spitting dudes with wings. <laughs> Rock levels up. So I don't know which way to go because it's going to be like hidden items. Oh, I guess this is basically where we go to continue. So we should go the other way maybe. Confused? This place is very confusing. Oh! The sandstorm hitting hard. The mountain of woe. What did he hit me with? Ew, what was that? <laughs> Threw like a sticky thing at me. Remember those sticky balls you used to throw against the wall and they would like slowly crawl down the side of the wall? Hit me with a, a loogie but he sucked the... Oh! Frogler in Water 2. Excellent. Another barrier sphere. You can use those in combat, right? For a fight. He hit me with a loogie and he sucked the loogie back into his mouth. It's disgusting. How do I get this item? Oh, here we go. Oh! <laughs> Alright. Critical hit. Love the music. So we spent like an hour, right, running around uh, in circles, essentially, doing uh, some gathering items of the hidden, you know, the chests and things. But man, I think it was worth it. Now we have chests that are all damage resistant. We have a crazy good helmet that's damage resistant, right? So I think that this is probably worth the uh, the time we spent doing it. Luca just learned the protect spell. Oh, that's really good. Uh, boost an ally's defense. That could be really good in combat. Maybe chuck that around, right? Okay. Chuck that around in combat. Get the defense boosted. A booster Rooney. Uh, I only played Warframe at the launch of PS4. It was actually one of the launch titles on PS4 that was free to play. I, I messed around with it a tiny bit. And I kind of get it. You know, it's one of those online free-to-play games, but there's a ton of content. And, you know, you want to invest a lot of money and time into it, MMO style or whatever, but never really got into it. Didn't really care too much about it. Very good. A lot of TP for these fights. 24 TP. Oh crap. There's a chest up there. I didn't get it. Because I think this is where we're supposed to go to continue, but I missed a chest. Darn it. Here, let's try water too. It's a water spell that hits everyone. Let's try it. And then I'll do lightning too. Very nice. Nice animation for it too. Love these uh, magic animations. Didn't die? Oh, come on. <laughs> I 
What game is tomorrow? GTA 5 on the first stream and Street Fighter 6 ranked with Blanca on the late shift. Yeah, we missed a chest, but I don't think I really care. Oh. Too many enemies. That's a lot of enemies. She's got to learn fire too soon as well, I think. Quad kill? Quad kill with the water spell. Beautiful. Frog levels up. Other barriers here. It's a defense up. Combat only buff. What are these things? Omni lock disables your tech and item commands. So I just fight them like this. So it seems to me like this is like a bonus fight. I remember I have the item that increases accuracy plus 10. So maybe if I put that on one of the characters, they would be able to hit that guy for like a ton of uh, a damage, right? Since you can't seem to hit them otherwise. Seems like a bonus fight or something. No. Oh well. Let's continue. We already missed a chest. I don't really care. Oh, La Peace. Critical hit. Love the critical hits. Confuse? Oh no, not a stupid confused status element. Oh no. Oh no. Hate confuse. So annoying in RPG, especially. Older traditional RPGs. No. Die. Okay. I'm assuming you need to go up, or else why would there have been those enemies blocking it, right? So then, what's to the right? Something optional? Yes. Well, we're winding down here tonight, guys. Only a, you know, a few more minutes. Essentially, when I get to a point where I can save, that's where we're going to adjourn tonight's stream, just so you know. That's the plan. Once I can save again, we adjourn. Unless we have to beat the whole dungeon, in which case we'll just keep going until we beat it. Let's see what happens. High ether. Barriers here. A lot of these barrier spheres. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Accuracy plus 10. Here we go. Wow. 100 TP. That's really good. Dang, that's great. So if you have the right loadout, 100 TP, man. Oh, no. Now we don't have the freaking right thing. That's all right. I'll just use these new uh, spells. Oh, no. Okay. Now Frog has no MP at all. Oops. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to MP use. Oopsie. Look at levels up. Shelter. Shield sphere. So we have barrier sphere, which I believe is magic reduction in combat, and then shield sphere, I believe, is physical attack damage in combat. Physical attack damage reduction in combat. Excuse me. 
right. James, can I do a Skeletor voice? <laughs> can I do a Skeletor voice? I mean... By the way, just reduce my HP to one. What a dickhead. A Skeletor voice. A classic Skeletor? And he's like, nah, He-Man! Think you can defeat me? Never! I will take over Eternia! <laughs> Something like that, right? Oh, I have no more HP. Great. Oh, okay, what were we saying? Perfect. Shelter. <clears throat> and it's time to save up. And that's it. So when we resume next time around... Oh, yeah, look. The Guru of Woe. That's the name of the mission we're currently on right now. All right. So when we resume next time around next week, all right, we will be continuing on here on this Mountain of Woe, trying to free the Guru of Life, who is stuck up here. And hopefully he'll lead us in the right direction of what to do here in 12,000 BC in the Kingdom of Zeal. All right? But that is going to be it for tonight, everyone. It's two hours of Chrono Trigger progress. I hope that you enjoyed. I mean, <clears throat> yes, tonight... We absolutely did do quite a bit of side exploration. But we got some great items as a result uh, that are going to help reduce these different elemental damages. It's going to help uh, Chrono survive because that Guardian Helmet is so powerful, right? Pretty darn good. And uh, I had a great time with all of you tonight. I hope that you enjoyed the chill stream vibe. <clears throat> now you might say, when's the next time I'm playing this? It's a great question, actually. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm not playing it more... This week at all, actually. I think the next time I might be playing it, I think, is Sunday night. So we got a ways to wait. But then after that, it'll be consistent and consistently kind of balanced with the other games I'm playing on late night streams. So you will see a lot more Chrono Trigger, more consistent. This week was weird because it's a shorter streaming week and everything. <clears throat> but next week, it'll get back to more normality, okay? And by the way, I did get a last-second contribution here. An $8 tip. From Blanca's Greasy Balls. Someone wants to ask the Magic 8-Ball if I order a spicy pizza, will I regret it? Outlook, not so good. So it sounds to me like you would not have a desired fate tonight if you were to order a spicy pizza. The question is, what would be spicy on the spicy pizza? Is it like a bunch of spicy peppers? Is it like a spicy meat, right? Like, I guess it really depends. Like, what is what is the cause of the spice, right? What is the cause of the spice on the pizza? So, anyway, guys, fun stream. Hope you guys enjoy. I always enjoy when we play Chrono Trigger together. I have a good time. So, I want to say thank you very much. And I can't wait for the next session next week. So, thank you all. Have a good evening. Be safe. If you're watching on demand, thanks for watching. See you next time.